Welcome to Inawera's Simplify SAP You Can Do It series. Today, I'm going to change routing right from Excel. Here I have a routing group that I recently created. I'm going to click on this Extract Routing button. Now I'm going to log into one SAP system from my SAP landscape. And now Inawera Technology takes over and will first execute a data extraction file for the table PLKO. Once I get these routing details, now a second data extraction file kicks in for the table PLPO, and this will give me my operation and activity information. And then after this, a CRHD data extraction file kicks in, and this will get me my work center information. So these are three linked data extraction files and the state extraction was ex executed by simply pressing that button. Now that I've got this information here, we can see this. I'm just going to scroll over. So now I can choose which details to change. I'm going to scroll over here and I'm just going to pull up SAP now. And so we're going to take a look at operation number two and operation number four. And here I have a base quantity of five and a base quantity of two. So what I'll do is highlight these in yellow, and then I'm going to change this to six, and I'll change this to three, and also highlight this in yellow as well. This will just make it easier to find once we run the changes and then we end the verification on the changes. It's not necessary for me to highlight these values in yellow. I'm just doing this for the sake of the demo to make it easier to see. So I'm going to click on this change routing button now. And again, log into SAP. And now Inaware Technology takes over and executes a CA02 transaction automation script. So this is a very powerful feature of Process Runner. You can embed multiple scripts into an Excel workbook and then execute them from the different Excel sheets in the workbook. So let's take a look now and just verify that these changes have been made. So what I'm going to do is actually scroll over here and I'm going to get to some SAP messaging. And so this is my SAP messaging for that CA02 transaction. And if I scroll back over here, now I can go to this process runner tab, click on show an SAP GUI. It's going to take me into SAP here. And we can just verify that the changes have been made. So here we are at operation two. If I scroll over, there we can see that that base quantity has been changed to six. And then operation four, the painting, has been changed to three. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about how to simplify SAP, visit us at inawera.com and be on the lookout for more videos in this series.